Remove the parts and boxes from the main carton and lay them out. Included are the frame pieces, screen material, support bar, tension rods, joint bars, hardware kit, and the instruction manual. Find the boxes labeled frame pieces and set aside all the other parts and boxes. When opening the box, you will find six frame pieces. Begin by removing the tape. Open and remove the frame pieces from the plastic wrapping. Lay out the frame pieces in the 16-9 rectangle format with the black velvet facing down. Locate the joint bars. Slide the joint bars into one frame piece on the top and bottom frame rails. From the hardware kit, remove the bag with eight flathead screws. Use the flathead screws and begin threading them into the joint bars by hand. Join the other frame pieces to make the top and bottom frame rails. Align the screw holes as shown. Add the remaining screws to the top and bottom frame rails by hand. Press the frame pieces together to make sure the joint is nice and tight. Tighten the screws. After the top and bottom rails are formed, there will be four frame pieces ready for the next step. From the hardware kit, locate the white plastic fixing lugs. Notice on each frame piece it tells you the required amount of fixing lugs. Slide the fixing lugs into the frame tracks. Once you have the fixing lugs inserted into each frame, continue on to the next step. From the hardware kit, locate the top and bottom mounting brackets. Insert both the top mounting brackets into the long frame piece. Repeat with the bottom brackets on the other long frame piece. From the hardware kit, locate the four corner brackets. Insert the corner bracket into the ends of each of the long frame pieces. Then join all four corners together, making the frame. In the hardware kit, find the bag that contains 16 round head screws. Make sure all the corners are aligned perfectly. Now by hand, put four round head screws into each corner. Make sure the corners are nice and square before completely tightening the four screws in each corner. Once the frame is assembled, find the screen box and open it. Inside you'll find the screen material. Remove the protective ends and plastic from the screen material. Locate the back of the material. There is a sticker on the pocket labeled back. Unroll the material on top of the frame with the back side facing up. Locate the tension rods. Notice the short ends don't have a rubber end on one side of the rod. This is because they will be overlapping inside the long pockets on the long side of the screen material. Slide the two long rods inside the side pockets of the screen material. Now slide the four short rods into each end of the long top and bottom pockets, making sure to insert the end without the rubber end, as shown. After all the rods have been inserted, align the plastic fixing lugs where the material is notched. In one corner, pull the tension rods and screen material over two fixing lugs. In the opposite corner, pull the tension rods and screen material over two fixing lugs. Then attach the final two corners in the same way. It is important to stretch the corners first to make sure the material is evenly tensioned. Continue attaching the tension rods and material on the two short sides. Before stretching the top and bottom of the screen material, we recommend installing the support bar. Insert the support bar vertically into the frame, aligning it with the joints of the frame. Finish by attaching the tension rods and material to the top and bottom of the frame. The assembly process is complete. From the hardware kit, locate the wall fasteners. If fastening the screws into studs, you will not need the plastic wall anchors. 
Notice how the screw locks into the mounting brackets. To prepare for mounting, measure the overall height of the screen frame. Install the top screws within the width of the frame. Install the bottom screws aligned with the top screws. The distance between the screws will be the frame height minus 2 and 3 8 inch. It is recommended for two people to mount the screen onto the wall. In one of the top corners, carefully fill behind the screen to locate the screw and slide the mounting bracket to align with the screw. Mount the bracket onto the screw. Then fill behind the screen on the other side of the top to find the screw behind the screen. Slide the other top mounting bracket to align it with the screw and mount the bracket onto the screw. While the screen is hanging on the two top brackets, slide each of the bottom brackets to align them with the bottom screws. Lifting one side of the screen frame at a time, make sure the top and bottom mounting brackets lock onto the screen. 